What's up guys, welcome back to Spring Boot Security. Today we will be using Spring Boot's authorities and roles to restrict access to certain logged in users. So an authority is something the user can do. An example would be read or write or view control panel or view basic stuff. A role is something the user is. So for an example, an admin, a user, a paid user, a free user. Spring Boot allows you to assign authorities and roles to users and change behavior based upon them. So we're going to start off by defining two endpoints. One is slash special and one is slash basic. We're also going to define two authorities, special and basic, and then we're going to assign these authorities to the users. And we do this in the user detail service. So the admin user, they're going to get both special and basic authority, whereas the user, they're only going to get basic authority. We're then going to restrict the endpoints to only allow the appropriate people to access. And we do that in the security filter chain using a request matcher. And then after we verify it's working, we'll go ahead and do the exact same implementation, but instead of an authority, we'll change it to a role. It works in the exact same way. We just have to do a different method call. Before we get started, I need to give you a warning. The following steps I'm laying out for you only work with GET requests. If you implement a POST, PUT, or DELETE mapping, this won't work in Postman. You'll get weird unauthorized errors. This is due to CSRF, or cross-site request forgery. We'll have a whole nother video explaining what this is and how it works, but the reason behind this is that get mappings only get data, whereas post, put, and delete mappings mutate the data. So there's an extra level of protection that we have to account for. So in today's video, we are only doing get requests. And with that, let's get started. So in the previous video, we had defined two mappings. One was open and one was closed. I'm going to start fresh and delete these two mappings. Let's add two new mappings. One is a get mapping at slash special, and it's just going to return a string of special. And I'll have another get mapping at slash basic, and it's just going to return a string of basic. Okay, going back to the security configuration and the user details service, we need a second user. So user details, user is equal to user with username, user, just keep it simple, password, remember to use the password encoder, and we're going to pass in two as our password, and then build. Okay, now we need to add authorities to each user. So up in the admin, we're going to say dot authorities, and then we pass in a list of strings outlining each authority. So basic, and special. And then for the user, we're going to say dot authorities, and then we're just going to pass in the string basic. And then in our return, make sure to add in the user. Okay, making our way down to the security filter chain, these request matchers corresponded with our previous video's mappings, so let's go ahead and delete these. So now all we have is authorize requests and form login. HTT basic and build. So now we're going to do dot request matchers, just like we did in the last video, but let's do it a little bit differently this time. We're going to say HTTP method dot get, and this is important because you can define different access controls depending on if it's a get, put, or post. We then pass in the string slash special, and then we do dot has authority, and we pass in the string of our authority, so special. We then want another request matcher, so HTTP method dot get. Our pattern is slash basic. And then we're going to say has any authority, so special or basic can access this endpoint. So we say special, comma, basic. Okay, that's all the code we have to write for authorities. Go ahead and run your project and make your way over to Postman. So in Postman, I have set up four endpoints. They're all gets. Two of them are for the admin. Two of them are for the user. So a basic admin, a special admin, a basic user, and a special user. We are expecting three of these endpoints to pass. I should have access to three of them. But if a user tries to access the special endpoint, I should get an access denied. Of course, we're using basic auth, and we pass in our username and password. 
So hitting the first one, I do have access to basic as an admin. Hitting the second one, I do have access to special as an admin, good. Hitting the third one, I do have access to basic as a user. And hitting the fourth one, I get a 403 forbidden error, which is exactly what we expected. The user does not have the attribute for the special endpoint. So making our way back over to our project, we're going to change this from authorities to roles. And it works the exact same way, except instead of saying authorities, we're going to say roles. Now remember, roles is different than authority. So authority is something the user can do. A role is something the user is. So for admin, I'm going to give it the role of admin as well as user. For the user, I'm going to say dot roles, but it's only going to have a role of user. And I'm going to comment out authorities for both ones. We're then going to change has authority to has role and change our string to admin. And then instead of has any authority, we'll say has any role. And we'll go ahead and say admin and user. Go ahead and run your project. Making our way back over to Postman, we'll just hit these four endpoints again, and we should get the same results. So, okay, we do have access to slash basic as an admin. We do have access to slash special as an admin. We do have access to slash basic as a user, and we do not have access to slash special as a user. Okay, that completes our video on attributes and roles.